All right, students, you're welcome once again to my channel. My name is Madhva Emmanuel, your favorite math teacher. Today, we shall be looking at the question 11 of the 2019 YEC examination. And the question 11 is a question on geometric progression. The question says, the third and sixth term of a geometric progression are 1 over 4 and 1 over 32, respectively. Find 1, the first term, and comma ratio to the seventh term. Let's quickly solve this. Our solution. Let me divide my board into two so have space to complete it. All right. Now, what's the general formula for a geometric progression? Our general formula General formula for nth term is what? A r to the power of n minus 1. Where your A is our first term. Our r is common ratio. And n is the number of terms. Number of terms. So now the question says the third term. Third term means n is 3. When n equal to 3, our third term, our t3, will be a r to the power of who n as 3. You'll be having 3 minus 1, which is 2. So our a r, the third term is what? 1 over 4. a r squared equal to 1 over 4. Let's call this equation 1. And then the other one is what? The sixth term. That's T6. If we put 6 here, we'll be having it as A R to the power of what? 5. Equal to what? 1 over 32. Equation 2. All right. The next thing to do now, we've got into equation. Just divide equation 2 by equation 1. Divide equation 2 by Equation 1, meaning a r to the power of 5 all over a r squared. This is equation 2 equal to 1 over 32 divided by 1 over 4. Are you seeing that? So that this a will cancel a. r to the power of 5 divided by r to the power of 2 will give me what? r to the power of 3. Are we having 1 over 32 to change division to multiplication here becomes what 4 over 1 so that 4 here 1 4 in 32 is what 8 so that we have in my r to power of 3 equal to 1 over 8 to continue here my r to power of 3 this 1 over 8 is the same as what 1 all over 2 to power of what 3 because 2 to power of 3 is 8 so that we have in R to the power of 3 equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of minus 3. I'm sure you remember that when we did that in our indices. Alright, so that the 3 can cancel 3, so that my R will be 2 to the power of minus 1, which is same as 1 all over 2. Alright, now we've gotten our value of R as 1 over 2. Substitute it into any of the equation. We can substitute it into equation 1 to get the value of A. Because our first question says find the first term and common ratio. We've got in our R common ratio as 1 over 2. So let's substitute substitute into equation 1. Equation 1 says what? A R squared equal to 1 over 4. A my R is what? 1 over 2. 1 all over 2 squared equal to 1 over 4. So that I'll be having my A. 1 over 2 squared is the same as 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, which is 1 over 4 equal to 1 over 4. If my A bracket of 1 over 4 equals 1 over 4, divide both sides by 1 over 4 so that my A will be equal to 1 over 4 divided by 1 over 4 will give me what? 1. Alright, I've gotten my first term as what? 1 and my common ratio as 1 over 2. 
The next thing I'm to look for is what? The seventh term. That's the second question. I, I, T7. T7 will be A R to the power of what? 6. N minus 1. Don't forget, 7 minus 1 is 6. So that will be having it as my A is 1 times R is what? 1 all over 2 raised to the power of 6. This will give me what? 1 times 1 all over 2 to the power of 6 is what? 64. So I have my answer as 1 over 64. That is our seventh term. Alright, now we've succeeded in solving the A part of the question. So quickly we'll be looking at the B part of the question. Alright, we have the B part of the question on the board. The B part of the question says, given that 2 and minus 3 are the roots of the equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, find the values of a, b, and c. I'll just give you the sharpest solution to this. Now, these are the roots. It means x is equal to 2 or x equal to minus 3. Those are the roots of the equation. Now they want you to bring it back to an equation. All you have to do, take this to this side of the equation. When this crosses sign of equality becomes what? When positive cross sign of equality becomes x minus 2. Here it becomes equal to 0. When this cross sign of equality becomes what? x plus 3 equal to 0. You have to combine two of them now. So I'll be having x minus 2 or x plus 3 is equal to 0. So let's open up this bracket. x times x is what? x squared. x times plus 3 will give me plus 3x. Minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Minus times plus is minus 2 times 3 is 6 equal to what? 0. So that we have in x squared plus 3 minus 2 will give me plus x. Then minus 6 equal to 0. Alright, we've converted it to the equation. Now, relate it to ax squared plus bx. So, write it as ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So, that I can get what a is. x squared, x squared. What's the coefficient here? 1. So, my a is equal to 1. bx plus 1x. So, my b is equal to what? 1. Minus 6. I have plus c. So, my c is equal to minus 6. So we've got in all our values. A is 1, B is 1, C is minus 6. That is what this question is asking you to find. Alright, so then you can see that it is actually very simple to get an A1 in mathematics. We've been able to solve from question 1 to question 11 in this YX series. YX is just two days away. I'm sure if you are if you've been following our videos. By now, you should be able and confidently, you should be confident enough to say I'm going to score A1 in mathematics. We'll still see how far we can solve. We still have question 12, 13, and 14 before the YEC examination. So keep subscribed to the channel, keep your notifications on so that you'll be informed, you'll be notified when our next video drops. I wish you success in your examination. I celebrate you.